What's up, beautiful Virgos? Trust your intuition for guiding you towards this moon message for, if I could actually get these shuffled, for the Waxing Crescent in Scorpio. So this is covering September 29th through October 2nd. And Scorpio energy rules over the genitals, okay? That's the reproductive system. So you might be feeling extra horny during this moon phase. It's definitely the moon doing its thing. Although this could also be someone's energy coming towards you feeling horny, okay? We're just gonna find out what's going on, Virgo. Let's see what's coming through. This is a love reading, so we're gonna find out who's in your love energy. All right, let's set the intention for clarity. Only clear answers coming through for Virgo. We're going to find out who is in Virgo's love energy. Let's get going for the waxing crescent in Scorpio. Only clarity, only accuracy. This one just keeps coming out for people. Okay, Page of Swords in reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with any one of those signs, Virgo. This is someone that I feel like is afraid to make a move towards you, even energetically, even in their mind. It's almost like they're they're trying to, de to delay thought about you. I feel like they're trying to... It's almost like walking on eggshells, right? You can see she's kind of tiptoeing across this line right here. I feel like this person's got a lot of ideas in their mind about you, but they're... They're trying to shut them down. Give me more about maybe why this person wants to shut down thoughts of Virgo in their mind. Tell me about that. Here's your Virgo energy coming out and I'm hearing take the one below it. All right, yeah, this person's definitely, it's like they're thinking about you, but they don't wanna be. I feel like they're triggered by thoughts about you. Six of Wands, victory energy. So I feel like this person really wants a win with you. They want a victory. They want to like run the full course. It's like have a full relationship with you. But I feel like they feel they, they got to be defensive for some reason. Maybe because the balances or the scales aren't balanced. Like they maybe they feel like you don't feel that way towards them. So Virgo, let's see what's going on here. Because I feel like all they want is happiness with you. And maybe it's you that wants this, you know, this Virgo energy, this very hermit energy. I don't really care what's going on around me. That ain't my business. Like, I don't really care. Stick to yourself. Stay in your lane energy. Maybe it's like that standoffish energy they get. They're telling me to take this one out. Redacted. So it might be possible that you felt the same way about this person at one point in time, and then you kind of withdrew your energy. I'm also getting something with the number nine and six. So three plus six breaks down to a nine, and that's that nine energy on the hermit. You also, um, yeah, I don't know. Six is nine backwards, and I'm getting something. I don't know. It's almost like wrapping something up, like something should have been wrapped up. Maybe this person doesn't want to wrap things up. I feel like at a certain point you guys had mutual feelings and then it's like you were like, no, nope, redacted, like I'm taking that back. Maybe something like turned you off about this person that you saw. It's like you saw an ugly that you didn't want to see or something like that. Give me something else for Virgo. Why is this redacted for Virgo? They're telling me to shuffle twice, cut once. Yeah, I feel like it's like feelings were mutual until they weren't. <laughs> until you decided you did not want to fuck with this person. Fate. This is a destined partnership. So you were meant to cross paths with this person or you are meant to cross paths with this person. Like this is coming to a head again. I feel like it's an again energy. Um, I want to get more about the way this person's feeling towards you, Virgo. Tell me more about the way this person's feeling towards Virgo and why this is so faded. If Virgo tried to redact this. So we have discouraged and guilty, dispirited, disheartened, deterred, guilty, blameworthy, responsible at fault. Okay, this person did something that I feel like, yeah, that's why you redacted your energy. You were like, yeah, I'm good because they showed an ugly side of them. I don't know what this person did exactly, but they showed an ugly side of themselves that I feel like really turned you off for a go. And you were like, yeah, I'm not dealing with that energy. But I feel like in some way you were supposed to learn something or you are supposed to learn something from this person or through this person. 
because they still want something with you. Although I feel like you completely retracted your energy, redacted and retracted. Give me something for Virgo. They're telling me left hand through the charms that they need to see for the waxing crescent and Scorpio about this connection. Could have been dealing with a cancer. Six of Wands, by the way, Leo energy. I don't know if I said that earlier, but you definitely could have been dealing with a cancer as well. Cancer is a sign of the mother, very nurturing, very caring, underappreciated like a mother. It can, this person may have underappreciated you or they didn't appreciate you like they should have. I don't know, I'm getting something with like another woman's shoes. Could have been like another woman situation. Give me something through the Astrodice for Virgo. What they need to be seeing through the Astrodice for this connection. For the Waxing Crescent and Scorpio. So we have Pluto energy, which rules over Scorpio, which really goes with this moon energy. Death and rebirth. And Taurus, which keeps coming out for people. Pluto and Taurus. So it's almost like a restart to what makes you comfortable. Taurus is all about comfort, all about practicality. Taurus is... It's like a very physical energy, but like very beautiful energy. So I feel like it's almost just like being comfortable with yourself, like a new start to feeling comfortable and nurturing that comfort. I feel like it's almost like I want to care for you the way I didn't care for you before, Virgo. That's what I'm getting with this. So I hope this resonated, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next Moon Phase reading in just a little bit.